All right, hey students, welcome to the Async 3.2 extension tutorial video. Well, this video is just an introduction, so what you should be doing is taking out your foldable, going to 3.2 extension section, and adding these couple examples and the key ideas. So tomorrow, when we go ahead and go over the live lesson, we'll go over a few more examples, review the ones that you just looked at in this video, and make sure that we're pretty comfortable with this unit. Okay, so with that being said, let's switch it up here to my screen. And you should see that I am in the async second hour 3.2 extension. So once again, we are doing 3.2 extension. And that is in your foldable. Go ahead and take that out and ensure that as you're watching this video, feel free to pause okay, and review it as you're going. So basically, 3.2 extension is all about this thing called factoring. So key idea is factoring. Think of factoring as reverse distribution. So we've done the distribution property fairly continuously the last few sections, but we're going to undo it now. We're going to go backwards. So factoring is like the inverse operation of distribution property. For inverse means opposite, so it's the opposite. So factoring is reverse distribution. Our end goal is to make it look like this. So when we factor, when we factor, it's going to end up looking like A times BX plus C. Basically, we're going to make it look like that. So no matter what, when we factor, we should have parentheses that we create. So really, once you see this done a few times, you'll see, okay, it's a very straightforward method. The hardest part is going to be remembering factors from your multiplication table. So factors are numbers that divide evenly into something. So let's go ahead and check this out using two examples. So these are the two examples I want you to put into your notes. This video is pretty short, so the big thing is, okay, go back and review if it seems like any of this is confusing because the overall steps are not that lengthy. All right, let's look at example set one, 12x plus 30, 8p minus 36. Make sure those are in your notes. Okay. So when I'm looking at something like this, 12x plus 30, so over on the side, I'm going to put my thoughts, okay? W the first thing you want to do is think of the largest factor that goes into both coefficients, okay? So let me write that down and repeat it again. Think of the largest factor that goes into the coefficients. So it'll take me a minute to go ahead and write this down. So when I say coefficients, remember, I'm talking about the numbers in front of the variable. All right. We can also say like 30 in this case is a constant. So what we're thinking of is the largest number that goes into both. So for 12 and 30, okay, the largest number that goes into both is 6. Okay. You want to find the largest number because if you do, it saves you a lot more extra steps. But if you find the largest number, the second thing we have to do is divide the factor that we thought of into each, divide the factor into each term. So let's go ahead and see how this actually is done. So once we think of the largest factor, we divide it into each term and we create our distribution property. So for 12x plus 30, 6 is the largest factor. So I'm going to divide 6 into both. Okay. And then I'm going to pull that 6 out. So our largest factor is 6. I'm going to build my parentheses like this. 6 goes into 12x twice, okay? So it's 2x. 6 goes into 30 five times. So I'm going to add the 5. Look at that. So what you're going to notice is that we have the factor on the outside, okay? So that's the greatest common factor, that's the factor, okay? and this is the division. So it is the reverse distribution property, and that is it. So we're taking a factor out okay, and reversing the distribution property, and that's what factoring is all about. So take a moment to look at this, kind of take a, let it, let the video run or pause it if needed, and I'm going to move over to the second example. All right, 
So for this second example, I'm going to do this a little quicker, but once again, it's the same steps. What I'm going to think of, okay, my end goal is I want it to look like this. Okay, I see a minus in the middle, so I'm going to transfer the minus down, but I'm going to need a number on the outside, which is my factor, okay, and then I'm going to need two terms on the inside. So for 8p and 36, the largest number that goes into 8 and 36 is 4. So I'm going to divide both numbers by 4. Okay? So knowing your multiplication tables is really key here. Use a calculator too to just kind of guess and check your way through. Just find the largest number that goes into both. So I'm going to take that 4 and put it on the outside. 8p divided by 4 is 2p because 8 divided by 4. And 36 divided by 4 is 9 minus 9. And look at that, we are done. So 4 goes on the outside, 2p minus 9. There is a way to check that we are correct. So you do not have to do this, okay, but I'm going to put it in our notes so you can see. To check, let me go ahead and scroll over to this. I'm going to take 4p, 4 times 2p minus 9, and I'm going to check it by using the distribution property. Okay, so I'm going to double rainbow it. There we go. And what you should notice is that it's 8p minus 36. If you get the exact same equation or expression as you started with, you did the factoring correct. Okay? So we'll, do a, we'll talk a little bit more about that check in class, but as I scroll to both problems, these are the two examples that I want you to put. These are the core problems. It doesn't matter if there's plus or minus in the middle of the terms, but the key thing is we're taking a factor out. It's called the greatest common factor technically, and then dividing it through to reverse the distribution property. So with that being said, definitely review this video if needed. Okay? Feel free to reach out if you have any questions. At this point for async work, this is the core things that you want inside your foldable, and be prepared tomorrow with questions or anything that you need as we go over the second part of this lesson. All right, thanks for watching.